In this video, um, I'm planning on showing you how to replace one of these four pin bulbs with one of the uh, LED uh, replacement kits that you get from any of the stores. All of the LED kits always have this bulb, uh, the, the screw-on style uh, uh, connector. None of them have the four pin, the GX24 I believe is what it's called. And um, so uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove this can. So basically you end up opening these four screws in here. You pull this can down and then what you do is, is you end up removing the component that powers the fluorescent light. And so currently if you look closely, uh, there's four wires uh, that are coming through there. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to cut out that, that uh, module that powers the, uh, the, uh, the, um, these fluorescent style bulbs. And we're just going to have keep two of the wires that come here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take the connector off of here. And it's really easy to do, and I'll show you how. And once we do that, we'll connect these two to the ends of two of those wires, and uh, we'll be ready to go ahead and install. Uh, one other easier way of doing it, without having to do anything, would be to get a uh, if a connector that goes from a four pin to a thread on. Uh, style. Uh, if you do that, it's plug and play. Plug in the adapter into there and then basically screw in uh, this end into those. You can get them for like uh, a pack of four, you can get them for like uh, eight bucks or something like that from Amazon with next day delivery. But uh, I'm not going to wait for that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that over there and then uh, uh, simply convert it so that I can go ahead and plug this in uh, directly. So what I'm going to do is, is get started here by removing the, the scan and then we'll go from there. Now that I've got the screws removed, um, what you may have to do is, is if it's stucco, some of the times the stucco overlaps, you may end up having to push this upwards getting rid of this stucco on this end on, on the, around the openings and then basically reaching up and pulling it through just like that and then it should dangle uh, by the wire so then from here we're just going to go ahead and reach in and do this so that's what that looks like um, and then from there what you want to make sure is that there is no power uh, to these lights. So before you begin, the safety is you want to make sure you don't get shocked. So the best thing is to trip the meter outside, the breaker I mean, uh, flip it off. Uh, so this way no one can accidentally uh, you know, electrocute you while you're working up here. So let me pull these wires out and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So what I've been able to manage to do so far is there is a black wire and a white wire uh, that is powering the, uh, the ballast that's behind this box. So it's kind of hard to see but uh, the black wire is, is where the power is and the white one is in neutral. So I've been able to disconnect. Uh, basically, I've got one of these connectors. Basically, gently, you grab on the wire, and then you, while you're twisting and pulling, uh, that wire will come out. And then what we're gonna do is, um, all these blue and two white connectors, uh, two red connectors, I mean, we're gonna go ahead and cut this uh, connector out. So this way, we basically are going to cut the four, two blue and two red wires from the ballast and we are going to eliminate, we have already eliminated the white and black so now the um, ballast 
will not be powered and nor will it be giving power out through the uh, the blue and red wires. So what we're going to do is is uh, out of and as you can see, there's four wires that are coming through here. Um, what we're going to do is is we're going to use one of the blue wires as the neutral, and then I'm going to use the red one to uh, or sorry blue one I'm going to use for my power, and the red I'm going to use as a neutral. So one of these red wires will go into the white connector here, and then one of the blue wires will go into um, the uh, the black uh, for the power. Once I've done that, I'm going to come through here and I'm going to then cut the four wires that you see that uh, power the uh, that, that uh, four pin uh, socket. And then I'm going to pull the two extra red and white wire, red and um, blue wires through so that there's only two wires going through the cable. So um, then basically I'm going to add the yellow connector that I had shown you in the uh, the new conversion kit and then we'll go be able to go ahead and directly connect our uh, new replacement LED light to it. So uh, let me get these wires cut and uh, the red and blue wires connected to the ground sorry the neutral and the uh, and the power. So again I'm going to use the blue, one of the blues as power the red will go to the neutral. So here we have the uh, the connector. Uh, the B is for black. We're going to call it blue. Uh, basically, what you end up doing is you take this the uh, a flat head, a really narrow flat head. You stick it in between. You stick it in between the wire and this uh, the the, um, the metal tab that you see, and then you push on it in this direction. Uh, by doing so what you're doing is, is you're pushing in on the metal pins inside. And I'm trying to focus and I, there you go. So that ends up releasing the wire. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and push the blue wire into here, the red wire into here. That gives us our connector that we can simply connect to the end of the, uh, the wire that uh, comes with the adapter. So let me get that done and then I'll uh, show you the wire connected. So you can see that I've got the blue wire into the blue portion, the black portion of the um, of that connector stuck in the red one and then have connected the the light and as you can see it works. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to go I'm going to turn the light off power up. I'm going to push all these things back in. So as you can see, blue is connected into the black, the red is connected into the white neutral. And then we're going to go ahead and close this up and put the uh, cover back on for the box in there. Push the can back into the hole, line it up with the holes, put the screws in, and then we're going to go ahead and align these arms into the can and push it up. And then we'll be done. So uh, then it'll be time to do the second light there and then we'll be done. I hope this kind of helps you figure out what you want to do. Like I said, this was a little bit more work. Uh, had you just simply bought the uh, four pin to a round socket uh, connector, you would have popped that in and then you would have directly connected these uh, LED lights. But I feel like this is the best way to do it. This way you bypass the ballast because there's no need to have a ballast um, in line. I'm not sure having that ballast would in any way negatively affect these lights, but these lights are dimmable. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to possibly throw on a dimmer, dimmer on this uh, down the road and then be able to dim it. So the best thing is to have that uh, module uh, out of the way. So let me know if this uh, you've got any questions. Uh, if you like, subscribe. I appreciate it and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So this is what the front of our house looks like with the new can lights installed. And as you can see, it is extremely bright. You can see the light on the pillar, how bright that is, and then compare that over to the, um, the front porch. It's extremely bright. Uh, so if I were to install a dimmer on the, uh, on, on the switch, uh, I could dim this down. But uh, 
I think uh, I'm going to leave it as, as it is because it should act as a good deterrent.